Alright, so here's another example of balancing chemical equation, uh, a combustion equation, with a hydrocarbon burned in O2 gas. So I'm just going to burn through this one. And so the first thing I, I, I'm going to see, okay, this, I know this isn't balanced because we have three carbons over here and on this side we only have two carbons. I mean we only have one carbon. So immediately I know this isn't balanced. I need to balance this. So we start off with, since it's a hydrocarbon combustion, I'm going to start with carbons first. And since I have a total of three carbons over here, what do I need to put in front of here to give me three carbons? Well, that's three. And now I'm going to do hydrogens. Okay, I have six hydrogens over here. But over here I only have two, so six over here. Now here I only have two, so I'm going to need to put a coefficient in front of here, and that's three, right? Because three times two is six. That'll give me a total of six hydrogens over here. Now the only thing left to balance is the oxygens. And so now I'm going to count up how many oxygens I have here. Out of this molecule, I have, well, that's three CO2s, right? So we have CO, -O, like that, and we have three of those. And don't worry about these two lines or whatever, that's for another lesson altogether. So we have three of these molecules for a total of six oxygens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we have three H2Os. for a total of six hydrogens, or I'm sorry, for a total of three oxygens. So the total number of oxygens we have over here is going to be six plus three is nine. So we have nine oxygens. Now, how do we get nine oxygens out of this? What could we put, what coefficient could we write right there to give us nine? Now this is weird. We haven't dealt with this before. Because up until now, it's always been something that you could easily multiply that by to get the right number. So we're looking for nine oxygens. Nine oxygens. And we could only do that with O2 molecules, which are like this. So if I have one, one molecule, I only have two oxygens. If I have two, then I have four, right? six, eight, and now 10. So I've completely skipped over what I need. So how are we gonna deal with this? Well, what we do is say, all right, I need nine. So I'm gonna write what I need on the right side, right? And on the left side, I know I need to multiply this by something, okay? So that's something, I'm going to call it x. That's my coefficient that I want. So I'm going to multiply this by two oxygens, right? Because it has to be two oxygens. So how, now all I got to do is solve for x. If that coefficient is equal to, now you should know how to work with equations. If I, if I need to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. If I divide that by 2, I get x by itself. If I divide 9 by 2, I get 9 halves. So this is telling me I need to write 9 halves right here. Well, how are we supposed to deal with 9 halves of a molecule? How, how could we possibly have 9 halves of an oxygen molecule? That doesn't make sense, right? How am I going to draw that? You know, I, if, if I can't draw it, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I like to be able to draw everything that, I, that I'm writing here with chemistry. And so now that I have this, I want to say, okay, what could I do to get rid of this right here? Well, the same thing that we just did, right, when we had x times 2 equals 9, and we divided both sides by 2, and we got this. 
Well, what, we're ha what would happen if we multiplied both sides by two? Well, that's, that's just the reverse of what we've done. So now we're dealing with the entire equation, not just how many oxygens we have. We want to look at the whole equation. And if we multiply everything in the equation by two, let's see what happens. So here the coefficient is taken to be one. If I multiply one by two, I get two, right? So that's my new coefficient. And that's two molecules of propene. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if I multiply nine halves times two, well, that gives me back nine, right? So plus nine O2s. Now I need to multiply three by two, right? Three times two is six. So we're gonna get six CO2s. And same thing here, we get six H2Os. And so now let's, let's double check. Because it should be balanced. Let's see if this works. Okay, we have two of these molecules. So that looks like this. That's C3, there's three C's, and six H's. So there's an H, an H, an H, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we have two of those, there's H, 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 H. Then let's see, we have a total of six carbons and how many hydrogens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. H is 12. And of course, if we have nine O2s, then we'd have 18 oxygens. So O equals 18. So that was the left side. Now let's check the right side. How many carbons total? Well, if we have six CO2s, obviously we're gonna have six carbons. How many hydrogens would we have? Well, if that's H2O, right, and I multiplied that by six, then we'd have a total of 12 hydrogens. Now, how many oxygens? Well, from here, if we had six of these molecules here, well, I'd have six oxygens. And then if I had six of these molecules, the CO2, I had six of those. Well, then I'd have a total of 12 oxygens. Okay, six plus 12 is 18. And does that work? Yeah, we have 18, 18, 12 and 12, six and six. So it does work. So when you run into something like this, you wanna make sure you get it down into a, a single um, integer coefficient. And integers are counting numbers, one, two, three, four, all of that. Make sure that they're all single integers. And don't worry about when you get, um, when you get to the point where you have an odd number of oxygens that you're trying to balance. So let's say over here we counted and we ended up with 13 oxygens. And over here we only have an O2. Well, how do we do that? Well, remember, you're just gonna throw a coefficient in front of there. So I'm gonna write what I need on the right side. I need 13 oxygens. And then I have some coefficient and it's going to always be times two because you're always working with O2. So that coefficient is simply going to be what you solve for, for X. So 13 divided by two would be the coefficient that you would put there if you needed 13 oxygens on the right side.